800 CHAB is proud to present Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. With Greg Marcinek from Heritage Insurance, our insurance expert. Greg, uh, we know winter doesn't really officially arrive on the calendar until uh, just before Christmas. But for all intents and purposes, uh, in Saskatchewan, it's November through April. So here we are. It's November. It's time to prepare our vehicles for wintertime, sir. That's right, Rob. Uh, You're never uh, too early, as far as I'm concerned, in getting your vehicle prepared for winter. I know I've just put my winter tires on, and uh, I'm ready to to go. But uh, the biggest thing in preparing your vehicle is uh, you want to make sure you take it to a garage, have a maintenance checkup, and again, don't wait for the winter to come to be changing your batteries, your belts, hoses, radiator oils, lights, brakes, tires, exhaust system. Everything, every one of these should be checked now. Uh, as well, while you're getting prepared for winter, you should always keep your uh, tank full so we don't have any humidity build up in your tank. And make sure you have sufficient windshield washer uh, fluid in your reservoir that's rated for a minimum of minus 40. As you know, it gets a little cold here. Uh, and I would suggest keeping an extra jug in your vehicle just in the event we uh, where you run out and you need it. Uh, when you do get out in the mornings, make sure you clear uh, snow and ice from the roof, hood, trunk, all your windows, lights, and mirrors. And uh, after you've started your vehicle, wait until that fog is clear from the interior of the windows so you'll be able to have good visibility all around. The other big thing is have your tires checked before the winters begin. And uh, remember to check your air pressure frequently uh, because uh, it does decrease in the cold weather. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that your tires, number one, are not worn out so that you do have uh, a good uh, depth and they say a minimum of 1.5 millimeters. Uh, Studies indicate that a 3 millimeter tread uh, can stop a vehicle on wet pavement 25 percent shorter distance than a tire with one and a half millimeters of tread. So you know take it by a tire shop have it checked out and with our winners consider using the winter tires. Rob I have them and I swear by them I could not believe the difference. So they do improve your driver safety by providing better traction, braking and handling both during frost and particularly under icy conditions. Now do you have the studs in yours? Uh, No they aren't. They're a winter tire that I've got that's specifically designed for winter driving and uh, it's almost like you have four wheel drive so I would certainly suggest for the safety of yourself and your family to make the investment because uh, it's something that is very worthwhile. Now, the other thing that we want to put together is a winter driving kit. These are some of the things that you should have. First of all, you should definitely have an ice scraper, snow brush, a shovel, sand or another traction aid, tow rope or chain, booster cables, road flares, warning lights, gas line antifreeze, flashlight and batteries, a first aid kit, fire extinguisher, a small tube kit, uh, extra clothing and footwear, a blanket, some non-perishable energy foods, uh, i.e. chocolate, granola bars, uh, juice, soup, bottled waters. There should be lots of chocolate after uh, Halloween as well, so that shouldn't be a problem, as well as a candle in a small tin can and, of course, matches. So these are just some of the things that a person should be doing right now. Be prepared, be proactive, so that when old man winter does come, we're ready and safe. Right on. You can find these tips and a whole lot more at nohassleinsurance.ca or you can drop in and see Greg and his staff at Heritage Insurance in downtown Moose Jaw. It's uh, right on the corner of Fairford Street West and First Avenue Northwest. Greg Marcinek from Heritage Insurance. This has been Ask the Expert on 800 CHAB.